Welcome to my channel, Michael R. Mann. In this video, we will be practicing example psychometric employment test questions. There will be three numerical reasoning questions. The data for these questions will come from one table. This video is the second in the series called Numerical Reasoning. If you would like to try a free practice test, please follow the link given in the description. The following numerical reasoning questions will be based on this graph. Take a moment to understand it. Let's get to the first question. What is the percentage change of exports from 2013 to 2011 for China? Please use the graph provided. Possible answers include A, negative 5.56%, B, negative 5.26%, C, 5.26%, D, 5.56%, and E, 4.76%. The solution to question one begins with reading the graph provided. Note that only data from China is required for analysis. The series for 2013 and 2011 provides the data to answer this question. In 2011, China's exports were $380 million, and in 2013 they were $360 million. The percentage change formula is easy to understand. It is the new number minus the old number divided by the old number multiplied by 100. The question requires data from 2013 to 2011, so the new number is 2011 and the old number is 2013. The percentage change in exports is equal to China's exports in 2011 minus China's exports in 2013 divided by China's exports in 2013 multiplied by 100. Simplifying, the percentage change is China's exports in 2011 divided by China's exports in 2013 minus 1 multiplied by 100. This is equal to 380 divided by 360 minus 1 multiplied by 100. The answer is D, 5.56%. The second question, what is India's exports as a percentage of China's exports in 2013? Please use the graph provided. Possible answers include A, 112.5%, B, negative 112.5%, C, negative 88.9%, D, 88.9%, E, 69.4%. The solution to question 2. The data required includes India's exports in 2013 being $320 million and China's exports in 2013 being $360 million. If the question asks A as a percentage of B, then A forms the numerator and B the denominator of the fraction. India's exports as a percentage of China's exports equals India's exports in 2013 divided by China's exports in 2013 multiplied by 100. This equals 320 divided by 360 multiplied by 100. The answer is D, 88.9%. Last question. What is the total amount of exports for Australia, USA and Canada in 2011 and 2012? Use the graph provided. Possible answers include A. $2010 million B. $2020 million C. $2030 million D. $2040 million or E. $2050 million The solution to the last question. The required data includes Australia's, USA's and Canada's exports for 2011 and 2012. Add each to find the total. Australia's exports in 2011 are 320 million. Australia's exports in 2012 are 300 million. USA's exports in 2011 are 340 million. USA's exports in 2012 are 380 million. Canada's exports in 2011 are 320 million. Canada's exports in 2012 are 360 million. Adding these, the answer is B, 2020 million dollars. If you would like to try a free practice test, please follow the link given in the description. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe. See you soon.